Hey, on this uh, particular video, we're going to um, I'm going to show you how to uh, paint small uh, using a palette knife. And here I have a small wood plate of a jazz musician. Most of you know that I paint mostly jazz musicians, but I paint other things too. But that's what I'm known for. And I'm doing this actually for a gallery. They just emailed me uh, a week ago asking for more of my small pieces, and this is one of my small pieces. This usually this size is about four by six. Um, a piece of wood that you can just get at your local um, craft store. So um, I'm just going to paint. Uh, start with my background first, and this the color that I'm using is a a mixture of white, uh, brown, and a little cadmium yellow. So just all that mixed in together, and you get this color that you see um, in the video. Now I'm just basically basically um, kind of lathering my my paint. Um, all across the background. Um, there is a little dark brown showing through the mixture, but that's okay. I kind of like that effect. And I'm just going in and just putting it all over the background in, in between the instrument and the uh, musician. As you notice, I'm using um, the tip of my palette knife to get in the small areas. And that's one thing that you, you can do. Um, a lot of people think you can't paint tight areas with the palette knife, but you can just use the tip of the um, um, palette knife. And if you use a a, a, a medium-sized palette knife, I kind of do not like using a small palette knife because they're just too small and I'm not able to maneuver like I can with that size. This size that I'm using right now is a medium-sized palette knife. Um, and I pretty much paint most of my paintings from this size all the way up to maybe um, 24 by 36 maybe. Probably not that high, but just maybe a little bit lower size canvas um, with that medium size palette knife. So I like that size. Um, I use the bigger um, palette knife when I paint larger uh, paintings. Um, here I'm adding the pants and I'm using just a raw umber uh, color. And I didn't mix it with anything, I just like that color. And as you can see, I'm just using the tip of my palette knife to get in. Paint the small uh, pants of the musician, and here I'm just cleaning my blade. And now I'm about to add the uh, shirt, the white on the shirt. Um, I want his uh, the musician's the musician's shirt to um, be a little bit of white. Again, I'm using the tip of my palette knife to get in the small areas. And it's leaving some nice texture too, as you can see. And I'm pretty much just filling it in. And I go back in to outline his arm um, with the black. And now I'm going to add um, saxophone, the color for the saxophone. There I'm using white and uh, cadmium yellow. And like I said in the uh, previous video podcast, I use a lower grade paint because I use so much when I'm using the palette knife and um, if I want to add other mediums I can but most of the time I don't because I still get the job done with the um, student grade paint. And again you can see me just using the tip of that palette knife and you can hear me, <laughs> you can hear the knife scratching up against the wood too. This may sound a little crazy but I like that sound. I don't know why, it just may sound like crazy but it turns me on <laughs> and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, add <clears throat> my uh, color for my face uh, the picture is kind of out of focus but you can kind of see the color that I'm using the light red oxide and I like to use this color because it's a neutral color for the skin tone and there I'm just pretty much just started from light to dark on his head as you can see just a little bit the left side of the head is light and and it gradually um, gets darker over to the right since we read left to right since we do a lot of things uh, in our everyday life left to right when I'm painting something and I want to show value without if I'm not looking at anything from real life I use the paint left to right when I'm showing value in a certain object. 
So that's what I did with this head too, from light to dark. Starts from um, left to right. And as you can see, the form is coming. Um, now I'm going to add a little black to outline um, the musician and uh, also the saxophone. Now, when I'm painting something like maybe a still life or a landscape, I usually don't use black, but I only use black for my jazz musicians. Kind of go for a different look. Again, I'm just using the tip of my palette knife. And that's what you can do if you're painting small. Here's my little style. I just like to kind of mix it up, add a lot of strokes in the painting while it's still wet. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Thanks so much.